Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the absolutely best broccoli roasted in your oven from frozen broccoli. Yes, y'all, look at how beautifully charred this vegetable is. Let's get to cooking. Okay, so we're starting off with two bags of frozen broccoli. Broccoli spears, which have the long body of the broccoli on it, and then broccoli florets, which just has the head part of the broccoli. And I have a big bowl so that I can mix it all together. The seasonings we're going to use include olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, and lemon pepper. You don't want to leave this out. I love this Kingsford brand. It has a Caribbean kick of citrus. It's not that high in sodium. It contains dehydrate, dehydrated garlic and other seasonings. So what we're going to do is open up our bags of broccoli. And of course, the amount of seasoning you use will depend upon the amount of broccoli you use. So I'm just opening my bags of broccoli. And you can see these have been frozen for a while. Yes, I know. And they have ice crystals on them, but I'm the only one eating this, so it's okay, I promise. Now I'm opening my second bag of broccoli, and you can see this. Yeah, y'all, it's frozen, frozen. <laughs> but I'm going to make it work. I've had these bags for a while, but they're not expired, but I don't want to waste them by just throwing them away. So I'm going to figure out if this recipe is good for frozen, frozen broccoli. So some of my pieces of broccoli are individually frozen. Beautiful. But I also have this big chunk here of the broccoli spears. So what I'm going to do is break this down into individual pieces. I'm trying to break it carefully so that I don't make all the big spears small florets. So now that that's all done, I'm ready to start seasoning my broccoli. And I'm starting off with my olive oil. This is Kirkland brand that I buy from Costco. It is a big container for a great price. I think it might be $12 or $13 from Costco, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just drizzling the olive oil on top of the frozen broccoli. So I didn't take the ice crystals off or thaw this out in any way. It is genuinely frozen. Now it's time to add our seasoning. So I'm starting with my garlic powder. You just want to cover each part of the broccoli. I'm also adding onion powder and you want to season to your liking. Now lemon pepper is a must. The lemon flavor does something really special and this seasoning also contains sodium so I'm not adding separate salt. I am also adding a squeeze of a fresh lemon. Now I'm using a quarter of a lemon here and what you want to do is make sure that the bottom pieces of broccoli also have lemon juice so I'm using a second quarter so basically I'm using the juice of half a lemon. If you don't have fresh lemon, then you could use the squeezed lemon if you have that. Now, as I'm tossing my broccoli, I noticed that not all of the pieces at the bottom have olive oil, so I did add an extra little amount because we are going to roast this at a high temperature in our oven. So make sure your broccoli is sufficiently covered with your oil and seasonings, and look at how beautiful it looks already. I preheated my nonstick bacon pan for five minutes at 400 degrees. The total time to cook this at 400 degrees will be between 20 and 30 minutes, depending upon your oven. Halfway through, you can turn it to see if it's the color you like. Look at how beautifully charred this is. And when I flip it over, oh my goodness, this charredness is delicious flavor that you will not expect from broccoli. And that lemon just sets it off perfectly. So I added this to a dish and you can drizzle more lemon juice on it if you like. And certainly at this point, you can taste it to see if you want to add more salt and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.